So a lot of people ask me um, how I keep my shop so warm and um, I tell them that uh, I use waste oil to heat it and I do. This is my um, waste oil burner which is a converted oil furnace. Let me tell you straight up that um, if you're used to just turning on the thermostat and having the gas furnace come on, oil is not for you, especially waste oil. What I do this is an oil dolly right here. Drain the oil out of the car. Take one of these uh, 226 micron paint filters, put it in a big funnel, take the oil from the dolly, pump it into there, straining it through the filter, then take the uh, oil that's been freshly strained and put it up here. Strain it again into this one. And uh, I should say that the only, way, the only way to get the furnace started is on diesel, which is in this tank. Diesel burns best at 100 PSI, no more, no less. I've got a gauge right here. You can see it. There it is. And we're burning the oil right now at uh, 120 PSI. It's loving it. Uh, this is a later model Beckett AFG burner. It has the, uh, the digital uh, flame on uh, LED. We'll open up the combustion chamber. You can look inside, see the nice hot flame in there. And uh, I use an aquarium heater here to preheat the, the oil before it right goes into the jet. And the draft uh, collars are here. You can adjust uh, your temperature. Um, so like I say, first thing in the morning, you got to start it on diesel. No air bubbles in the lines. You got to bleed the lines. I use a uh, just a common uh, outboard uh, fuel bulb here as a primer, and uh, let the heat come out. Let's check our temperatures right now. We're seeing uh, about 175 degree outlet temperature and it's only been on for five minutes. As the day goes on, that'll go up to about 250, much over 250, and the uh, overheat sensors of the furnace will turn the flame off and you gotta start it up. So you gotta kinda figure out what works best for you. But um, there you go. Waste oil uh, burning at its best. So uh, another thing that people are usually concerned with is um, when I tell them that I burned waste oil is, well, it's dirty and it's smoking and it, uh, it's bad for the environment. Well, as you can see here, my furnace has been on, oh, maybe 20 minutes. So it's not quite warmed up yet. But if you look at the exhaust coming out of the shop, all you see is the, uh, the heat trace or the heat mirage. It burns as clean or as cleaner as uh, anything else. So um, you have to adjust it and have a clean jet. Uh, you have to adjust the draft collars, that is, and have a clean jet. Otherwise, it will smoke. But if you maintain those, um, there's no perceptible exhaust. So my waste oil furnace has been running all day long, pretty uh, problem-free. Uh, a little bit earlier this morning, that one of the jets started to plug up, and I just ran a little lacquer thinner, uh, about six ounces to uh, maybe three gallons, to clean it out. So I'm going to check the. Uh, temperature here. I've got 230. That's about perfect. Uh, again, uh, before I go home tonight, leave the shop, what I'll do is I'll switch the, uh, the fuel supply from uh, waste oil, filtered waste oil, to the diesel with no air bubbles so that it'll be ready to fire first thing in the morning. It uh, has a hard time when it's 30 degrees in the shop. It takes a while for the oil. All right.